Most people out there know Creality for their 3D printers, usually focused on the budget end of things. Creality Falcon is their laser branch. This is the Creality Falcon A1. And it's kind of a weird name since the Bamboo A1 is one of the big competitors for the Creality's printers but this is the Falcon A1. I'm not an expert on lasers, but this is finally an easy to use laser. I gave up on trying lasers a few years ago because they were so much more difficult than 3D printers, but this machine really makes it a lot easier than previous machines I've used. So let's talk about what makes this a unique laser. So first up, it is Core XY. Kind of a weird motion system to choose because speed isn't gonna be your limiting factor here. It's gonna be that power output of the laser. It's super cool and it means the machine is fully assembled, ready to go out of the box. Since it is fully enclosed, they say it's class one safety certified, so you don't have to wear any glasses while it is running. Previously, I really hated using those big chunky glasses, which you had to use at any time that this machine was running. And you did have the risk of what if someone else walks into the room while you're laser engraving? What if a pet walks in? They could get blinded by seeing this laser. That's just a huge risk to have with an open air laser. The enclosure also has really great ports for air assist and the air exhaust on the back. For the air assist, you plug in the power on the side and plug in the air tube on the side. That one goes all the way through the cable chain directly to the laser head. That makes it so easy to use that you just plug it in on the side there. The exhaust is also already routed on the back and you just attach the hose to exhaust the fumes outside. Fumes are something you do need to think about with a laser like this. It's gonna produce a lot of nasty fumes when making any cuts. The safety around the fumes created from a laser is really important to talk about. With any laser, you need to get those fumes outside as quickly as possible. So a short distance outside of a window is great. This is not something I would use if you have to use it inside in an apartment. That's not really an option. I would only use this if you have a garage or an outdoor workshop. Even though it is in the garage, the garage smells like smoke after I've been using this. And it's just not that much fun. And since it is a laser, it smells like a bonfire, but it's way more dangerous than a bonfire. It's releasing way more chemicals because it's vaporizing the wood at such a high temperature. The working area inside of here is 381 by 305 millimeters. Not the largest of machines out there, but it is a pretty large work area to use a lot of big sheets. 10 watts is your only option with the Falcon A1 currently. In the future, I would assume they would allow you to choose different module upgrades there, like the 22 or 40 or 60 watt that's available on the Falcon 2 Pro but this one currently the only option you can buy it with is with that 10 watt laser. That does make this a machine mostly for engraving with light cutting. If you're going for a ton of cutting and light engraving, upgrading to something like a CO2 laser is something I have seen people recommend. But with more power comes more price. They have announced the launch price of the Falcon A1 and it is going to have a pre-order discount at $500 with the regular MSRP being $550. This really undercuts something like the X-Tool S1, which sells a similar 10 watt enclosed diode laser, currently on sale for 900. So the Falcon A1 will be the cheapest fully enclosed diode laser on the market. That's really exciting to now open up the possibility of getting a safe laser at these budget prices. Another big benefit of it being enclosed is that the camera is attached to the lid and always perfectly aligned. So this came calibrated from the factory and I haven't had to run any calibration. From the software, you tell it to take a picture and that updates your work surface with whatever materials you have in there. This is perfect for adding in little scraps in here or if you want to engrave on little circles. You cut out, you have some circles you have cut or keychains, Christmas ornaments, whatever you have, you can just place them in here on the work surface, lower the lid, tell it to take the picture, and then in the software, you're able to align what you want engraved onto exactly the items you want. It allows you to easily line things up and fully utilize your work material. Another really awesome feature this machine has, if you buy Creality's materials, they give you these little cards with it and the QR code can be scanned by the Creality's laser. So you put it under here, scan this, and then it updates their software with the presets for whatever material this is. So if you're switching to orange acrylic, I can just take this card, scan it on the camera. Then on their software, it'll ask if you want to update your profile. You say yes, and it'll update everything to that orange acrylic. You can manually switch materials by just doing a little drop down box and selecting it, but it was really nice to be able to swap between acrylic and wood super easily. 
Another downside you may have noticed already with this machine is that there's no screen and no interface on the machine. There's a single start button on the side, so you really, to get the most out of this machine, need to have a computer or laptop physically USB plugged into the machine. I never use this mode, but it does have an offline option to use a USB flash drive to put it in there. But with that mode, you're really missing out on using the camera, which I think is the best part of this machine. I know it would add a ton of cost to add a screen and a processor powerful enough to do all that computation, but for a lot of hobbyists, I think that would make this a lot more easy to use of a machine. But the laptop option, I know for a lot of people, is a great option. So now moving on to what can you do with this and who is this laser for? It is only a 10 watt laser, but there's a lot that you can engrave. Making large labels like this, these are gonna be for outside some shelves I have. I could use a 3D printer, but that's gonna take a lot longer to make each label. These only took a minute, maybe a minute and a half for each of these. Little custom Christmas ornaments. Here's a simple Lord of the Rings design on here. And then you make a circle, a smaller circle at the top, Christmas ornament, boom, done. I cut some acrylic, they sent over some acrylic sheets to play with, and these are great for making little maker coins. This, I just put my channel logo on there, or you could make poker chips. With a diode laser like this, you're not able to etch into metal, but you are able to take paint off of metal. And a lot of things are either powder coated or painted metals in some way. This little label on here, I laser engraved, and it's fully engraved because it takes off the powder coating. This is a super strong, super durable, easy way of marking up metal which opens a ton of possibilities for customizing things. I did try a test engraving on raw brass and aluminum. I know anyone who has a laser will laugh at me for this. I just thought I'd see what would happen. The metal heated up a good bit, but there I could not even tell where I did the test. Really customizing a lot of things can be a great use for this. Like on my phone case here, I added my channel logo down here on the bottom. So it's not just a generic phone anymore. This anyone would know is my phone now. Another thing I tried engraving was the back of this iFixit case. Instead of just putting a sticker on there that again could get messed up, dirty. If someone did wanna steal this, they could just remove that sticker and then it just looks like a generic iFixit case. Now it has my logo fully etched into there. Unfortunately, with lasers, you don't get a second try. So the power was a bit too hard and it engraved, I think, way too strongly into this plastic. So you really are reliant on presets to do things correctly or doing it on a sample piece. Here's some examples of I tried to engrave a picture here. It is really hard to engrave a lot of pictures that don't have really high contrast, but that's really just a limit of lasers and is something that just comes with practice, knowing which pictures would work well or not work well at all. I am really excited for the ability to combine laser engraved parts with 3D printed parts. For a simple example here, a 3D printed picture frame can have such intricate details, while the laser engraved wood gives such a natural material feel. All it takes is a little bit of super glue to hold them together. This is a really simple example, but I love the possibilities this unlocks. This is supposed to be a little device to spool up a USB cable, and it is cool how it all fits together. This would be, I think, cheaper, better, easier to 3D print. It's just a simple design that comes with their Creality Falcon software. And I think if you're looking at a laser to build some of these little trinket designs, I don't think that's the best use of lasers. There are better tools out there to make better versions of what this could make. Simple storage boxes could be a really good use for lasers. I could 3D print a little box like this, but this can laser cut it way faster. So if you want a lot of storage, maybe a drawer organizer to, with a ton of little boxes in there, this could laser cut a bunch of boxes very quickly versus 3D printing an entire drawer full of boxes could take days and a ton of plastic versus a little bit of wood and not very much time. So who is this machine for? Currently, I really just think it's for hobbyists. Someone who wants to get into laser engraving, you have some objects that you want to customize since it is only a 10 watt laser. If you are trying to start an Etsy shop, customizing a bunch of items, a more powerful laser will be able to make more things faster. So if time is money, getting a more powerful machine will pay off. But this is a great hobbyist machine that is a lot safer to use than previous machines. The ability to make the occasional custom ornament, custom leather wallet, customize your phone case, things like that is a really great option if this can come in at a reasonable price and you have this space for it. If I didn't have a garage or outdoor workshop, 
I wouldn't be looking into buying a laser at all, but this machine does open up a lot of possibilities for some for a small time creator like me. This is finally an easy to use and safe laser, so it is something I am gonna keep around. A few years ago, I sold off my open air lasers because they're just dangerous and difficult to work with. This is finally a laser engraver I'm really excited to keep around to learn more about lasers and make some awesome projects with it. But anyway, that just about wraps it up. I will have some affiliate links in the description down below if you are shopping for a Creality laser. Maybe there's some discount codes that can help you out. If you do have any more questions about this machine, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to help you out. As always, go out there, create something amazing today, and I'll see you in the next video.